Hello, and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. We have a serious and sober discussion today. It's about the horrific massacre in Uvalde, Texas. Our associate and friend of ATP, Will Johnson, is driven all the way down to the scene. He's joining us now, right in front of the school where it all went down a few days ago. Welcome, Will. So let's talk about how this could have been prevented. I, a number of people have made comments about a previous horrific tragedy in American history. And I'm, re I'm referring, of course, to 9-11, which was 20 years ago. Um, after that happened, and, and we all know the story, um, Islamic terrorists took over a bunch of jet planes and weaponized them and crashed them into a field in Pennsylvania, obviously the Twin Towers and the Pentagon. Um, what did we do after 9-11, Will? Did we ban planes? Uh, or did, no, we do something, know, did we do something else? You know what, Barry? I actually had a, uh, a liberal media outlet out of Canada reach out to me, and they wanted me to come on an interview with them. And that was one of the things that I brought up. For some reason, the media refused to bring up 9-11 and the security measures that we put in place after 9-11. We increased we 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 increased the security at the TC, TSA. We increased security on the airplanes. They put more air marshals on the airplanes. They they made us go through more of a screening to get on airplanes. The security became number one priority. And one of the things I don't understand is how come they're not making the security of the children in the schools the number one priority. If I can, Barry. Let me bring up an example because I just learned this and I, did, I didn't even know. And I have to admit to my ignorance on certain things that when it comes to the police department showing up for security at these locations, at these schools, the police department basically has to get permission to go on campus because it's the school board that have their own police service for the schools. So the local police department just can't go on there without the authorization of the local school board police officers. Well, Instead of us sending $40 billion to Ukraine, and I'm, I'm not, instead of us sending $40 billion to Ukraine to increase their security for their children and their families, why is America being left out? Why is America not as important? Why are our children not the number one uh, thought on our minds, especially the politicians? And they can't say that the school boards don't have money to hire more police officers, board, border, or, or school board police officers, because they do, if I can, real quick. And the reason why I say they have the funds, because in, in, in California, after the COVID, what they did, they had a whole bunch of money left over from the COVID release. They had no idea what to do with those fundings, Barry. So what they end up doing they end up giving more bonuses out to the teachers. The teachers didn't need the bonus. They already gave them one bonus, so they, had, they want to make sure they spend all this money, so they gave them another bonus. Instead of doing that, it, well, give the teachers a bonus because they already have, have to deal with a lot. But that extra millions of dollars that they had, they could have funneled that money into the schools for more security. There's retired police officers, the retired vets that would be happy to build that boy. But $40 billion? That would have that would have done the trick as well. I'm sorry yeah, I had to go on a rant there, Barry, but I was thinking about it, and and this is, is so maddening to me. And I'm sitting here looking at this horrific stuff, uh, and and this should not this should not be the case. 